In this tutorial, we will learn end conditions in extruded boss base feature. Extruded boss base and revolve boss base, these two are the most or widely used tool in SOLIDWORKS. So let's activate. Now here we have two solid bodies and uh, we created one plane and we made this sketch. This sketch you will see 50 by 50 and 80 millimeter from the center of this body. You will see the plane too. It's, uh, there is a one more uh, plane we created here uh, for our use. So let's activate extruded boss base. Now here it is asking you choose any plane or any existing sketch. So I am going to choose this sketch. Now look. We already learned start condition from. Now this is direction 1. And these are the seven end conditions. Even the same thing you will notice in direction two also. So we will basically want to learn these seven conditions. First is blind. Blind means you can move any direction. Just uh, uh, press left mouse and drag this arrow and you will move. Even you can allocate dimensions here. Let's say 20, change direction, say OK. Now look, this is the first condition blind. You will simply apply dimension. Now edit. Now the next condition through all. If you choose through all, look, it is traveled up to end of the body or end of the your part. Look, it is traveled up to end of the part. Now next is up to next. If I choose up to next, Next means this is the first body which is going to be the next for this. So it is simply focus up to this. Now look if I ch look it took the shape of this body see. So this is up to next and uh, up to vertex. If I choose vertex, you have to choose any vertex. Let's say I'm going to choose this vertex and see it is move along up to this. If I choose this view and you will easily see it is move up to this. The next is up to surface. So I'm going to choose now here you have to choose surface. So let's say this surface and look it is move up to this surface look now the next is offset from surface this is very powerful tool just say normal clear the next is offset from surface this is a powerful tool I am going to choose this surface but look, it took the shape of this surface, but you have to define dimension. Let's say 10 millimeter. See the gap between these two is 10 millimeter, even though you can choose reverse offset. So it will go inside up to 10 millimeter. Look how this is works. Okay, the next is up to body. Now here we have two bodies, so you have to choose any body. Let's say I'm going to choose this body and it is move up to this body. Now clear. I'm going to choose this body and it will move up to this body. If you select merge result. Okay. Now look there is two body. What this one and this one because this is merged body. Now again let me edit. Unmerge. Okay, now see these all three bodies, different bodies, because we make our result unmerge. Okay, edit feature. Now what next? Okay, this is mid plane. You can just simply choose mid plane and define the length or something here, and you can go go with. Look. It is moving both sides equally. So 
so these are the end condition which is very useful even though i'll show you few more things let's say if i am going to choose up to body and i am going to choose this one now here if i am going to change unmerge still there is three body but if i am going to select here merge body now here you will see there are too many things if you uncheck this auto now here i want to merge this body and this body so select this body now here i i selected this body now here also you have to select body because you want to up to body so here also i am going to choose this body but we did not select this body see here say okay now look there is two body this one this blue color and the second one these two body i hope you understood don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching